Hello, and to all who come to this happy place, welcome. If you're new here, my name is Abby, and I make Disney content here on my channel. Today, I'm going to be telling you about our experience in Toy Story Land at Disney's Hollywood Studios in Orlando, Florida. Toy Story Land is part of a massive expansion currently taking place in the Hollywood Studios. Next year, they're going to be opening Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, which is also part of this expansion. As soon as you enter Toy Story Land, you are transformed to the size of one of Andy's toys. He's playing with all of you in his backyard, and you're all part of the show. From Tinker Toys to pencils to dominoes, Andy has built a whole new world for his toys to experience. Throughout Toy Story Land, you'll see different things from the scenes of the movie, such as the Lexo Ball and even the Green Army Men, if you're lucky. Jesse, Woody, and Buzz Lightyear were all out taking pictures with guests while we were there. Toy Story Mania is the only attraction in Toy Story Land without a height requirement, which means it's fun for the whole family. If you've been to Hollywood Studios in the past, you'll notice that the entrance to Toy Story Mania has moved. It used to be in Pixar Place, but now they have relocated it to Toy Story Land. Even though they moved the queue, they kept the magic alive, and you still feel like you're hanging out under Andy's bed with all his toys. While you're waiting in line, make sure to keep an eye out for some special tips that they've thrown in along the way, as well as some classic toys that you don't always see anymore. They also have ride vehicles that are handicap accessible, so you don't actually have to transfer out of your wheelchair if you have a guest in your party that's unable to. Throughout this ride, you'll be challenged to complete some carnival games that Andy's Toys have put together for you. A little pro tip, don't wear your arm out too much in the practice round. You'll need it later. When you're doing the volcano game, make sure to hit the balloon at the top of the volcano. Two more will appear, hit those, and then three more will appear. Once you hit those, the volcano erupts with a bunch of high value balloons. This is a lot easier if you work together with the person you're riding with. During the alien scene, you want to make sure that you hit all of the aliens so that they're all down at once. Then something super special happens, but I've never been able to do it. Also keep your eye out to the left and to the right for 2,000 and 5,000 point aliens. During this last scene, be sure to take it kind of easy when the targets are moving toward you because the real opportunity for high points comes in just a second. The more you hit this target, the higher it gets. So it doubles from 500 to 1,000, then to 2,000, and then to 5,000 if you can hit it enough times. <laughs> Notice the rankings on the prize board. If you're a pin collector, you might have noticed that these are actually a pin collection that you can find throughout the parks. Disney really took it to the next level with the theming in Toy Story Land. Throughout the entire exit queue, there are more of Andy's toys and different ones than you saw inside. Oh, monkeys. I love the monkeys. Toy Story Mania really works up an appetite, so it's a good thing that Woody's Lunchbox serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Some highlights at breakfast include a breakfast bowl and s'mores French toast sandwiches, and they also offer Disney's version of a Pop-Tart throughout the day. For lunch and dinner, they offer a barbecue brisket melt, a grilled three cheese sandwich, a smoked turkey sandwich, and tachos which are made from Woody's famous potato barrels. Be sure to take advantage of mobile order at this location because it was really busy. As you get closer to the cash register, you'll notice that some of the umbrellas up there are even made out of Baby Bell cheese wrappers. After lunch, we headed across to Slinky Dog Dash, which is the roller coaster in Toy Story Land. 
This ride does have a 38 inch height requirement, so if you have smaller kids, make sure to take advantage of Rider Swap. This roller coaster was a ton of fun, but in the words of my mom, we probably shouldn't have ridden it right after lunch. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. With such a low height requirement, we were expecting something similar to Seven Dwarfs, but this ride was way more intense and way more fun. You never know who you'll run into in Toy Story Land, and we were lucky enough to catch the Green Army Men Boot Camp. The last ride in Toy Story Land is Alien Swirling Saucers. This one has a height requirement of 32 inches, and you can also use Rider Swap at this location. This ride is a spinning ride, and it looks a lot slower than it feels. member of your party that will be riding alone, make sure to know that they will be slipping and sliding all over the ride vehicle. So this might be a fun way to amp it up for some of your older kids. If you're dreaming of a trip to Toy Story Land, I would absolutely love to help you plan the perfect trip. Be sure to contact me via the information down below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll hit the red subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my future videos. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment with your favorite ride in Toy Story Land if you've already been there. Don't forget that this is day six of Vlogmas. I've been posting a video every day of December, so make sure to watch the rest of those if you missed any and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.